Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. This again is being manifested. No matter how stupid a man is, he rules over all animals. When a lion sees you, it will run away. If an elephant sees you, she will run away to hide, and so will the hippopotamus and crocodile. Good and evil derive from the word. Death and life emanate from the word. Wealth and poverty derive from the word. Warfare and peace emanate from the word. Glory and disgrace emanate from the word also. Eternal life and death also emanate from the word. Within your body is found evil words and also good utterances. Woe unto you, spells evil not only on you, but also on the world. Blessed be thou, spells blessedness not only on your person, but also on others and the entire world. All the good things in the world emanate from good utterances. Similarly all the evil things we see in the world emanate from the evil utterances from your mouth. If a few people hearing this gospel believe in it and begin to utter good words, it will not be up to two weeks before the tables will be turned and the position of things will be reordered. The logos is faster than movement. A local adage has it, thoughts are swifter than the legs, and that the legs move according to plan, but the word travels swifter than thoughts. Even as the gospel is being delivered, now the words have come very far. Since the declaration is made from high heaven, these words have reached water, the heads, the hills and all over the world, the air, dry land, the sun, moon, stars and the planets. The word is both the father and the mother. It is the son, it is Satan, it is God. Do you not remember, our Lord Jesus Christ spoke and raised the dead, the blind saw, and the lame walked. At another instance he spoke the word and the fig tree withered away and died instantaneously. Matthew chapter 21 verse 19. He had said to the fig tree, From today no man will eat of your fruits. But if instead of, he had said, from that moment it would bear fruit, the fig tree would have continued to bear fruit. With God there is nothing evil. After Adam and Eve had eaten of the forbidden fruits, if God had blessed them, they would not have died, instead of cursing them, they would have had no problems. They would have been prosperous, and man would not have had any problems. Our only saving grace is, God created the first day and said, everything was good. He made the next day and blessed it and thought, it was good. Genesis chapter 1 verse 10. He made another day and also blessed it instead of cursing it. He also thought that it was good. Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. Can you not see, how the world is full of the blessedness of God? Without this word of blessedness, the world would have perished. People always ask, why the leader does not go out, or go from place to place. He is always stationary. What else is he going to do? What type of work does the leg do? Where can the leg go to? People say, they want to go out in order to look for money. How do you look for money? From where can you take it? Is it found in water, in the air, or on dry land? When you say you want to look for wisdom, from where can you acquire wisdom? You want to acquire power? From where can you acquire power? I want you to listen carefully to the gospel of today, because it contains the real, deep and recondite wisdom of God, which, if you imbibe it today, you are saved, and redeemed. When I look at you, I am filled with pity on you, for, how you misuse yourselves, whereas the flesh avails nothing, it is only the spirit that quickens. The spirit is the word. What is this spirit? It is the word of God. What else do you want? Do you want peace? Then say, let there be peace in the whole world, and there will be peace. Do you want wealth and prosperity? Then say, let there flow wealth and prosperity like honey throughout the whole world. It will surely flow. Do you want power? Simply say, I have bestowed power on all of you, and within a jiffy, power will be bestowed upon all of them. You wish, there should be no death, simply say, you have taken death away, and you have given them eternal life and they will be duly bestowed with eternal life. The moment you utter good words, then they start to operate, you can even go to lie down to sleep. Who is he who can cause to exist what did not exist, and to cause to disappear what had existed from time immemorial? Who is that? Is it not the word? Re-examine the first lesson read to you, let no corrupt communications proceed out of your mouth, but that, which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. Because by your words you will be justified and by your words you will be condemned. Evil communications spell evil things into the world, good communications shower good things into the world. No matter where you are, only use the word as your weapon. 
It does not serve any useful purpose to go to Lagos or London. Remain where you are, because there it is London, Lagos, New York, New Delhi, Accra, Monrovia, Freetown, and Yuhant. Where you are is also heaven, it is hell, it is every place, but only speak the word and everything is manifested. Evil words spell doom, good words shower blessing. Why are you eluded by this knowledge? In the beginning there was nothing in existence, but the Father employed the word and everything was created. At this end of time the Father has also used the word to bless every creation, because this is the ear of the word. That is why, you are enjoined every day that no corrupt communications should proceed out of your mouth. Are your eyes not clear now? If you no longer utter evil words but only good and seasoned words, only good things will be manifested. Life is under the word. Death, man and everything in heaven and on earth, are under the control of the word. The word is God. It is the Christ. It is also the Spirit. The word is the Father, it is the Son and it is the Holy Spirit. Light derives from the Son and it is the Holy Spirit. Light derives from the Word, rain emanates from the Word, land emanates from the Word, life and all other things have their origin from the Word of God. Minus the Word there is nothing made that was made. The Word can make and can make. You are asking, how you will refrain from sin? There is no other way. But from today, immediately you speak the word that from today you will not commit any sin, and there is nothing sinful, only good things will rule your ears and everywhere. In fact the impact of your words will vibrate in you, and will shake off all vestiges of sin from you. From now on speak only good words. Even if you utter but one word, do not speak much, and once it falls on the ground, Matthew chapter 21 verse 44, it will break mighty stones, and when it arises it accomplishes its will, and all your utterances will all be manifested. Notice, that the efficacy of the word is reserved, for you. It has eluded the whites. It has eluded the blacks and the inhabitants of the whole world, otherwise no person would have uttered evil words. Control your tongue. That is why, the scriptures say, in many things we offend all, if any man offends not in word, the same is a perfect man, and able also to bridle the whole body. James chapter 3 verse 2. If you have discovered any loophole in your ways or your behavior, that loophole was responsible for your evil communications. You have to bridge that gap, so you may not have the slip of the tongue again. Pray God should give you the ability to love every man. Even though you forget about it, the pronouncement will be manifested. Do you know, from your childhood, and for generations upon generations, all you uttered came into manifestation, and even now all of your communications are being made manifest, because by your words you are justified, and by your words you are condemned. These words, which proceed out of your mouth, will be fulfilled, whether you plead or not, fast or pray, they will be manifested. When you request the Father to make it possible, for you to love every person, and you begin to show the expression of love to every person, and people are coming to you. But suddenly you change your mind and argue, it is getting out of hand, and you would not want to continue with the situation. When you say you would not want to love every person but only some, you have forgotten, and this later pronouncement will supersede the first, and the first pronouncement will take a very brief turn, until you will not be able to love every person. Be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Instead of uttering one evil sentence, let us keep mute for one year. Any word that proceeds out of your mouth should be seasoned with salt, such that it is good to the use of edifying, and will minister grace unto hearers. That is why, the scriptures have warned, every person should be swift to hear, slow to speak and slow to wrath. James chapter 1 verse 19. What will protect us is, if we should be swift to hear, but slow to speak and slow to anger, no evil communications will proceed out of your mouth. If from now, we do not allow evil communications to proceed out of our mouth, but only good utterances, we are then perfect, and the world will also be perfect. The word is a two-edged sword. But what has pleased me, and why I thank God, is that the word is a two-edged sword. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. He can do something and can also stop that very thing. He can cause anything that is not in existence to exist and can also cause what is in existence to disappear. That is to say, if from now on you begin to reverse the order of your words, instead of cursing and abusing, you rather pray, God should make you love every person, the words will begin to be manifested, because both love and blessing will be showered on the inhabitants of the world. 
the vibration.